Oh man, we're back, man. We got the famous man, the 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 crazy, the the comedian, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the 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 genius, the troll, the marketer, Charleston White. Oh, uh, in, in the in the rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to put me in the rat category too. Now, don't forget about Rat Williams. You can't forget about Rat Williams. Rat Williams, man. You know it's funny because when we post you on Say Cheese and I tag you, and, and man, your shit shot up. What you had like hundred ten thousand followers now? Yeah. Yeah. I, I told you to change, don't put Charleston White because they was going to keep snatching it. Yeah. And then and then somebody else said, hey, uh, start spending money with Instagram. So I've yep. been spending money with them. So they stopped. So they took me off their shadow ban list. Yep. That's how that works. Yeah. I started spending money with them. So they took me off their shadow ban list. That's how it works, man. Uh, I'm on mine too. I'm going to be good this time. Yeah. Because I'm going to play I noticed- well with others. Cause I, I noticed you post a lot of your old Facebook posts on there. Yeah. And you know, use the N word a lot. Uh, use a lot of different, you know, foul language, and that's how, to me, I think that's why your shit used to get took. Uh, well, every time I got into it with a celebrity, uh, every time I got into it with a celebrity, they know people. We didn't. We don't know on this side of the camera that you have Facebook you have Instagram, you have Twitter, then you have Metaverse, right? So all of these people, if they get mad at you, if, 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 if a celebrity calls them and say, hey, let me pay you $5,000 to shut this account down, you get shut down like that. So mm-hmm. it wasn't until I got into it with T.I. and Boosie, when my account got shut down, I finally got introduced to the Metaverse people. So I actually got somebody number from the metaverse world who at first they said, man, they got a lot of restrictions and hits on your account. He said, but I can take them off. Once he went to looking at my account, he said, man, they got a lot on your account. So he said, man, it's going to cost you anywhere from about five thousand dollars and I can get your account back with that five thousand dollars. I can get your account back and I can get it to where they never do it again. This is a guy that's working in metaverse. So when Elon Musk, when he bought Twitter and he started exposing information that they're selling blue checks, it's the same thing with Instagram. Absolutely. So, I, so this, is why I fuck, this is why I don't like celebrities. This is why I don't like these niggas like these rappers. They are the new overseer, homie. So meaning they can oppress me because they're in a position to reach the metaverse to call somebody inside of Instagram. So that's what happened to Charleston White. When I make celebrities mad, they can crush me because they know somebody they can call on the inside, right? We don't know that, homie. So this is what I'm telling regular people. Your celebrities are the new slave masters. They are the new white boy with the whip saying, say, pick more cotton, nigga. So they the new slave, they the new overseers, homie. Wait, so, what, what, who do you think ratted you out? What, what celebrity got mad and, and went and snitched on you to get your shit deleted? Oh, uh, well, it, it, it first started when DMX died. So I, 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 I pissed off a lot of people in the industry when I first started disrespecting Nipsey Hussle. So it started there. Uh, when I got into it with WAC 100 and Big U, they was over at World Star. It started there. Uh, uh, what was another celebrity I got into it with? Uh, it, it was I even obvious, remember the, it was I remember the Johnny, I got into the Johnny it with Dang Boy. shit. The Who? Johnny Dang shit. You yeah, got, the, you got, yeah, the, the Johnny, Johnny Dang. When shit. I got it with the Johnny Dang, so, yeah. uh, so the Asians run YouTube. So then I met some people prior to seeing the the, the sixty minute Dateline study how you can buy views. I've been on the internet for four years, homie, going viral. I've never bought a view. I've never bought a like. I've never bought a uh, 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 followers or subscribers. I start realizing that they can buy followers, right? They can, they can buy followers, right? So when I realized that, I say they can, they manipulating us, homie. So somebody like me who don't have the knowledge of the internet who gets on here, that's why it was so easy to shadow ban me. That's why it's so easy to delete my accounts. I, I've had over 10 Instagram accounts deleted in, in 24 months. I've, I've lost, over, I've lost, and each one gets deleted at 100,000. So once I reach 100,000, they delete it. Uh, I've had 
three Instagram accounts deleted. I've had two demonetized. Mm. Uh, I've lost over eight Facebook pages in the last 24 months. Uh, so they, they just delete them. When I appeal, I never hear nothing back from on appeal. I understand that this is my intellectual property that they're taking. So by law, by law, they're violating a lot of rights. But I, don't, I can't. There's no lawyer that's going to take on these big ticks. On top of that, you have people who are friendly, who, who are industry friendly, who work in these in, in these social media platforms. They're industry friendly. They're fans of these people. So they, too, can be bought and persuaded to silence you if you speak the wrong political message. So. Uh, that's why I don't follow no social media rules. I don't give a damn about losing a social media page. Mm. When I saw the movie Dolomite, uh, everything that I'm doing, Dolomite was doing in sand in the 70s. Even from R-A-P-E, you know, the Caucasian women, even from that standpoint, he, even, he acted it out in movies. So I'm mimicking that same satire comedy, right? So. What I saw in the movie Dolomite, what he done in real life, he was at a show. They wouldn't let certain people in because the show was sold out for whatever reason. He went outside and performed on the streets, on the corner, and sold out the show on the corner. So I had to figure out a way to, because I see that they erase me. They, they delete me. They censor me. They silence me. Uh, so I had to figure out a way to transcend what I'm doing on the Internet in real life and monetize it as well because uh as of as of may 2020 i have now june of 2020 i haven't made one dollar from a social media platform mm. damn so all my money's been coming in interviews or uh, shows or uh, uh, features on songs or uh, uh 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 a, a contract, a, 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 an exclusive deal that I signed with the weed spot. So I get a nice uh, royalty check uh, uh, annually for that. Uh, I had to figure out a way to take my voice because TikTok won't pay me. Uh, Instagram right. won't pay me. YouTube won't pay me. Facebook won't pay me. Google won't pay me. Uh, so I had to figure out a way. So since they won't pay me, I took those same voices, those same videos, and, and registered them with BMI and, and ASCAP. So I get a publishing check now.